What is up, Quranics? Welcome back to the Criminal Enterprises DLC. So a lot of you guys wanted me to make a review slash customization on the brand new Kanata, which is the new helicopter. Um, it looks really cool. It has a unique uh, no-tar system, which means it has no tail rotor. Um, it's a really, really cool system. And um, yeah, so a lot of you guys wanted me to customize it for this video, so I, I guess we'll do it. I mean, it doesn't really have much customization, but it does have a couple things, I suppose. Um, now, this aircraft is... A personal aircraft which means that you need to own a hangar in order to buy it it is not a Pegasus vehicle um, it is a four-seater as you can see here seats four people um, and the price almost two and a half million buy it now price and trade price is uh, about 1.8 so you do save a good bit of money there and to unlock it you have to do the cleanup um, ULP mission uh, to get the trade price so you might as well just do all the ULP stuff because you unlock pretty much all the trade prices for this DLC by doing that for other vehicles as well. So I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is right here. It's called the Buckingham Kanata. Pretty good looking helicopter. Um, it's not anything crazy and I believe these doors on the side are always open like that. So that's part of the look there. You can see my no tar system back here. Very, very cool. No tail rotor as you can see compared to other helicopters for example like this one um, this one over here which has the tail rotor there and this one over here which also has one there so really unique uh, very very different now in terms of what this helicopter is based on is primarily based on the MD 900 and the 902 Explorer as well again very cool helicopter with a unique notar system but yeah, let's go ahead and see what kind of customization we got here. So we have armor, definitely helps, engine, handling. So this changes um, how sensitive the controls are. Um, it just makes it a bit different to fly. I guess we'll do the race handling because um, it's the most, uh, I think it just helps a lot in my opinion. It is a, more, a bit more difficult to fly with that, but um, I prefer the experience with the race handling, so we'll do that. Livery, we have the uh, half tone. Interesting there. It's like gray with the top in the. Well, no, gray is our primary color, sorry. It makes the that top section of the helicopter yellow and the uh, fins on the back yellow as well. Um, then we have green, which is basically almost the bottom half of the uh, helicopter green. Interesting. Power metal, which is just red okay with the power metal logo there on the side this one is waves very simple nothing too crazy there weasel news that one's cool I, I like that one that's different you make it black with the weasel news on the side or white or whatever that would look really cool I got the zero gas livery one of my favorites I love that you have the swoop this one looks really cool the blue with the white you have the Ron, which is black nose, um, black accents in different places with the Ron logo. You have stripes. This one's really cool. I like this one, really bright blue there. You have Higgins, Helitors. Right. Okay, Helitors. Interesting. Okay, and that's all the uh, liveries there. Not bad. Some good liveries here and there. Uh, this one's pretty cool. The Ron livery is nice as well. Um, I might do this one, I'm not sure. Hmm. Tough decision here. The zero gas livery I like, but I think maybe it's a bit too simple. Um, this one's really nice, especially since this helicopter doesn't have a secondary color, so I guess we'll do the stripes, respray, primary. What can we contrast that with? Well, look at that, also that top section as well. That's nice. I think white will probably be our best bet. You know, the white with the blue looks really good. We can also do um, we get the brand new chameleon colors. You want to put one of these blue and gold. <laughs> the blue's a bit too bright for that contrast, though, I think. Hmm. You know what? I might... I do like the... It's like purple, but it doesn't work with our livery. So I think I'm going to do this dark purple pearl, but then uh, change our livery up a little bit. Uh, livery. Let's see which one looks better with this one. The, the waves look pretty good. Yellow looks completely wrong. Um, the wrong livery looks strange. All right, I guess we'll do the the waves. I don't know purple. I don't think it's growing on me right now. Maybe in the sun it looks better. 
it, it's tough when you're like when it comes to aircrafts, they always have a difficult time choosing a color. <laughs> let's just let's just stick with our original livery plan and um, maybe in the metals category of brushed aluminum. That's really bright. We'll do, we'll just do that there. Doesn't look bad. Um, and then that's all the options there. And then of course you can sell it if you'd like. Uh, so that's the money you get back there, uh, about a million dollars. So, all right, let's go ahead and take it for a flight, shall we? Yeah, go have some fun. So, as far as the Notar system, you can see it. Let me see up close here. You kind of see it. Now, in real life, that rear part swivels depending on uh, when you turn and all that. This one, it just stays fixed, unfortunately. So it's not realistic, if you want to call it that. You see, I'm doing everything in my power here to try to get it to turn. It doesn't do anything. It just stays fixed in place. So that's a bit unfortunate Rockstar didn't put that effort into it, especially at the price of this helicopter. Um, so that, that's a bit of a missed opportunity there. I really feel like they could have done something with that. Uh, first person here, pretty normal. Nothing really too crazy that stands out to me. Um, now in terms of the way it flies, very responsive, the straight line speed, moves pretty good, definitely faster than most helicopters, but I don't think I would say that this is like the new fastest helicopter or anything like that, um, I might be wrong on that, but I doubt it. Uh, currently I believe the Sparrow from the Kasaka is the fastest helicopter in the game for straight line speed. Um, this one might be close though. I think I think it might be pretty close, but I, I still feel a sparrow feels a little quicker. Let's turn around here, and of course this has no weapons, unfortunately, no weapons upgrades, which definitely is a missed opportunity there. But I wouldn't say this is like a weaponized aircraft or nothing like that. But they could have at least added countermeasures. I think that would have been a nice upgrade for this, uh, like a little hidden upgrade there. But no no weapons, unfortunately, no countermeasures. It's just pretty simple unfortunately um, but yeah it does fly pretty nice is there anything special about this not really the notar system is unique but it doesn't really look seem to be working in the way it's supposed to visually um, so it kind of takes away from that there in terms of landing it let me purposely land it a little rough let's see how it reacts not bad very simple there let me land it sideways to see how easy it is to land for a, a bit of a novice player let's see very easy very easy to land um, not bad and of course if you want to land it smoothly of course it's very simple as well nice smooth landing there very nice not bad a pretty simple helicopter for the most part that's why I didn't really make a video on it when it came out because there wasn't really anything too special about it but a lot of you guys still wanted to see it so I went ahead and just made a quick little review on it um, should you buy it? I don't think so. I would, there's nothing special about this. Definitely save your money to buy something else. And if you really want it, I'm pretty, I'm, I can almost guarantee you, Rockstar is going to put a discount on this very, very soon because I, it's not very popular right now because of the lack of weapons and countermeasures and all that. Um, so yeah, they'll definitely put a discount on this thing soon, I think. So wait for that if you want to buy it. For now, just save your money. I would definitely save your money if I were you. Now, in terms of armor, uh, this aircraft does not survive any explosions, um, even with 100% armor upgrade that we installed on it. So one homing missile, this thing will just explode, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.